all the progress that we've made over the last eight years, all the progress we hope to make over the next eight years, all of that goes out the window if we don't win this election. And we don't win this election, potentially, if we don't win North Carolina. So I hate to put a little pressure on you, but the fate of the republic rests on your shoulders. I've got Republican friends who don't think or act the way Donald Trump does. This is somebody who is uniquely unqualified. I ran against John McCain. I ran against Mitt Romney. I thought I'd be a better president. But I never thought that the republic was at risk if they were elected. The guy they nominated who many of the Republicans he was running against said was a con artist and a know-nothing and wasn't qualified to hold this office. This guy is temperamentally unfit to be commander-in-chief and he is not equipped to be president. And this, this, this is not a, this should not be a controversial claim. It really shouldn't. I mean, it's strange how over time, what is crazy gets normalized. This is somebody who claims to be a great businessman. But I will tell you, I know a lot of business people right here in North Carolina and all across the country who've done really, really well without stiffing small businesses or workers out of what they owed them. We don't, we don't have a history of somebody who refuses to release any tax returns at all.